Welcome to the third and final part of your, wait for it, introduction to the hard driving groove laden world of rhythm. Whew, I really, I really worked on that one, so appreciate it, okay? Okay, so this part of our lesson is, is all about the beat. One of the ways you can practice counting notes and note values is by assigning numbers to the beat in the measure. But we can also count the beat by adding a few simple words. Let's use an eighth note as an example. Remember, that's two notes per beat. Let's try these. For eighth notes, we would still apply numbers, but for the added notes in the measure, try inserting the word and. So you'll count like this. One and two and three and four and just like that. Work on keeping your beats, your rhythm, and even your wording, the way you say it. Don't speed up halfway through the counting. Try to stay as even and consistent as possible. Now, for 16th notes, it's the same, but we would add the sound uh to the mix. So it becomes one and a two and a three and a four and a. Again, keep your pace even. Uh, it's a little more complicated, so you'll have to practice it to really get the rhythm down. Let's try some other more simple ways of counting beats to help you get into rhythm. You've clapped to a song or a piece of music before, right? It's one of the simple ways to keep a beat. You know, try clapping along with the main beats of your favorite song. Find one with a good four beat structure and just clap. You know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The main reason why clapping will improve your sense of rhythm is because it uses a different part of your body, your hands, instead of you just using your mouth to sing. If you can learn to coordinate your clapping while you sing and clapping the rhythm of that song that you're singing, you'll find your sense of rhythm improves tremendously.